Hey guys, welcome to a new video on my channel finally. Today I will be making a tutorial on my updated velocity. I also made you guys decide whether I should do it or not. And most of you said yes, so here we are. I will try to explain as easy as possible. But if you have questions, write them down in the comments. First of all, make a new project and add your clip. And delete the outro. Now click on the clip and click speed. Make it 0.4 or 0.3. Click on the make it smoother and select better quality. It's right under the speed line since many were confused. Now click the check mark. May take some while if your clip is long. Now export your video. Make a new project and select the video you just saved. Delete the outro again. Now add your sound. Forgot to mute the sound of the original clip? Don't forget that. You can cut your sound if you need. Now click on the sound, beats, and click add beat on the beat obby. You can see me do it now. I'm also adding text so it doesn't get copyright claims. But I can claims. also click auto generate. But it makes too much beats sometimes. I'll also make a full edit of this at the end. I have a lot of time until my beat comes to all at a black overlay. Like I do mostly on my edits. This part is unnecessary, but yeah, you can skip to 235. Now the tricky part. Widen your view of the project to fingers, one swipe to left, other to right. Now make a split on the yellow dot. Select the clip in between and speed it up as much as possible. Now split on the next yellow dot. This time don't speed up click in between but make another split on the next yellow dot. Now you can speed up the clip in between as much as possible. Again split on the next yellow dot. Don't speed up clip in between. Add another split on yellow dot and then speed up clip in between. This is hard to understand so you can skip back and see what I did. You see I split on yellow dot. Now on the next yellow dot. And speed up the clip in between as much as possible. And after I sped up that clip, I repeat everything again. I did a small mistake and forgot one beat. But I correct that you will see. But this is how it looks like. I'm correcting the mistake now, but what I want to say is that it may look bad now, but there is a step that will make everything look smoother. Also, when you try it first, it can happen to end up looking bad, but that happened to me too, but what I can say you gotta practice. I also tried filming this video a few times, but stopped. Because mine looked bad so. This was my finishing look. As you can see, I cut some parts I don't need anymore. And added a fade on my sound so it sounds better. Again to show you how it looks like.
Mine is offbeat, so it doesn't look really good. But anyways, export your video. Now add a new project with the video you just saved. Click on the video scroll till you see motion blur and click that. Use settings blur 100, blend 12 and times twice. Again, this may take some while if your clip is long. Anyways, how's your day been? Write down if you want. Now it should look smoother. Again. Looks much better, right? Now this is actually it with the tutorial but, but stay till the end if you want to see the results. Edited by your Mina. <laughs>